Hello, my name is John Tanzi. I'm the Executive Director of Off-Campus Programs, uh, also commonly referred to as the Study Abroad Program Office. Just uh, as I start off here, I'll, I'll identify a few reasons that students choose to study abroad. Um, these are common. Uh, immersion in another culture, increased international awareness and understanding of global issues, gaining a perspective of one's own culture, and uh, fulfilling the language requirement or uh, improving language skills for those that have more advanced language skills. It's very common to hear uh, graduating seniors or students that have been on programs to say this, my best term at Dartmouth was when I was away on an off-campus program, so we find that uh, quite interesting, and it speaks to the quality of the programs that we offer. There are three ways to study off-campus uh, while at Dartmouth and receive academic credit, and I'll speak briefly about each. The first is Dartmouth off-campus programs, LSA language study abroad, LSA plus advanced language study abroad, and foreign study, and foreign study programs can be advanced study in a language or uh, study in another area. Uh, the second is exchange programs, and the final is uh, via transfer term. Again, I'll touch on each of these. For the Dartmouth language study abroad and foreign study programs, we operate uh, between 40 and 45 programs a year, uh, spread across the calendar with fall being the busiest term. Uh, we have programs running in 20 countries involving 21 departments at this time. Uh, our participation rate, if we look at graduating senior classes, tends to be on just these programs. More than 50% of our students will have, have done one or more. And that places us as, uh, in terms of participation rate, one of the highest institutions uh, in the country for students studying abroad. What it means is about 600 students a year study on our own programs, uh, which have the characteristics of being led by a Dartmouth faculty member. Students take three courses at the off-campus location. Dartmouth faculty member accompanies the program and typically and usually teaches one of the three courses, and the other two were taught uh, by local instructors. Off-campus programs, the Dartmouth programs have these characteristics, the three courses. Uh, they can be at a local, we might be affiliated with a local uh, university. It could be that we set up our own, our own uh, classroom facilities. Uh, we bring in a variety of guest lecturers and uh, set up a whole host of activities that are really meant to take advantage of the uh, strengths of that location, the, the cultural and historical and architectural aspects. Uh, the programs include a variety of excursions, uh, trips to explore, um, again, the culture and history of the country, concerts, theater, uh, and a variety of other events. And then uh, all of our programs also have money in the budgets for entertainment so that the faculty member can spend time with the students, uh, either via lunches, group dinners, and so forth, just to keep tabs uh, on, on how uh, they're doing and um, bring the group together for a group experience. Here you see our language study abroad and advanced language study abroad offerings. Uh, there's a lot more information about these and, and all of our programs on our website, and I'll have the link on here later. Uh, we offer language programs in Japanese, French, German, Italian, Portuguese, Russian, uh, Spanish, and, and also Arabic in the uh, foreign study. And quite a variety of foreign study programs. Um, some in the languages, they're based around advanced study in the language, and others uh, may be a study of classics in Greece or government in London, Asian and Middle Eastern studies in Morocco. You see there's quite a variety there. And again, there's much more information about these programs on our website. Some things to consider uh, as your son and daughter or daughter uh, prepares for an off-campus program. Many of the programs, or most of the programs, have prerequisite courses. Uh, again, on our website, if uh, you look at a particular program, you'll be able to see what those are. Uh, with that, then, involves academic planning, making sure that the prerequisite courses can be fit in uh, to your son or daughter's D plan so that they have those courses in place before the program. Uh, their application deadline dates, most of our 
programs have a February 1st deadline date for the following year, but there are some variations. And again, all that information is on our website. The application process is competitive. Um, we may, in some programs we offer uh, in one location three times a year. We may offer uh, you know, another program just once a year in one location and with a, an enrollment of about 20 students. So uh, just, we have to tell students to, if there's a program that runs more than one term and they're really interested in that program, to apply for more than one term or uh, perhaps to submit multiple applications for a given term if there are other programs that, that might be of interest. Generally, if, if uh, somebody wants to study abroad, uh, there's an opportunity to do that, either through one of our programs or, or the others that I'll mention. Of course, with any program, there are issues of uh, you know, students on financial aid. There are considerations there. Aid packages are adjusted upward or downward, depending on the actual cost of the program. Um, but the needs-blind uh, admission or financial aid process carries forward on our uh, foreign study programs, the LSA and FSP. We have a variety of housing options. Depending on the program, most language programs, students are housed with host families. Uh, many other programs, we, uh, students may be housed in dormitories or apartments or pension houses. It really depends on the program. Uh, transportation, airlines, and um, all of the programs are characterized by having a variety of information and orientation sessions before departure. Just a quick word on exchange programs. In addition to Dartmouth's own faculty-led off-campus programs, we do have a, a, a variety of exchange programs where we have an agreement with another institution that essentially uh, sets forward guidelines for exchange of students. We may send three students in a given year to one of our partner institutions, and they would uh, do the same by sending three to Dartmouth. And we have domestic and foreign exchanges, and I'll, I'll cover them in a second. The exchange program is a little different than the Dartmouth FSP LSA in, in that uh, the Dartmouth off-campus programs are um, essentially Dartmouth courses. The, they're factored into the GPA, the grades are factored into the GPA just like any course on campus. Exchange programs and transfer terms are different. Uh, because the courses are taken at another institution, the credit has to be transferred back and there's a pre-approval process. Uh, Grades are not factored into the Dartmouth GPA. The uh, exchange school transcript is attached to the Dartmouth transcript. Uh, program costs on exchange programs are eligible for Dartmouth financial aid, and the costs vary by program. In most of our programs, students will pay uh, their homeschool tuition, so a Dartmouth student would pay Dartmouth tuition and then room and board costs to the exchange uh, partner and, and the same thing would be happening on the other side and that permits a, an exchange of students without institutions transferring money back and forth. See our exchange partners, quick overview and again we have uh, more information about these on our website. The third way to study off campus and receive academic credit is via transfer term. The first two, Dartmouth Foreign Study Programs and, and the LSA and um, exchange programs are administered by my office, the Off-Campus Programs Office. The third uh, opportunity is administered by our Registrar's Office. And what it is is direct enrollment in another uh, college or university, either domestically or internationally, uh, during your son or daughter's, one of your, their leave terms. So they would apply to that school, directly enroll, and then petition to transfer the credits back. So it re does require a pre-approval pre of courses. Uh, there's a limit of four credits to transfer back, four course credits. Grades are not factored into the GPA, very similar to exchange programs. Um, tuition, room, and board are all paid to the uh, other institution. And in terms of financial aid, only non-Dartmouth financial aid would go to fund that, help fund that program. Any, Dartmouth scholarship or grant would not transfer. Just a bit about our office. Uh, the off-campus programs office administers the whole student application process. Our applications are submitted online. Uh, the actual admittance decisions are made by the departments. So once we've collected all the applications, that inf information is forwarded out to the uh, departments hosting the program 
admittance decisions are made, communicated to us, and then our office communicates with students. We assist faculty members setting up pre-departure orientation programs, um, getting information out. We do a couple of parent mailings uh, about health and safety matters and, and just some other basic program information. We assist uh, with the orientations um, the, and are involved with a variety of program information, uh, administration from housing, finance, logistics, health and safety. We're, our office is staffed by four people, and there's how you can reach us. Um, 44 North College Street, give us a call, send us an email, visit our website, and I'll be here uh, out in the lobby after uh, just in a few minutes and be happy to answer your questions. Thank you.